So dry suits versus semi-dry suits. So a quick one on a topic that keeps on coming up. Years ago, I did a video on tips if you were looking for a dry suit or a semi-dry suit. And I covered this as one of the things to look for if you're in the market for a dry suit. But since I keep getting questions on it and I see the topic come up very often, I thought maybe a standalone little piece on it could also work. So what's the main difference between a dry suit and a semi-dry suit and why there's such a big difference in price? is because of the neck gasket. The neck gasket in a dry suit is made out of latex and usually in a semi-dry suit it's made out of a different material, let's say neoprene or something else that will usually be a little more comfortable but at the same time, it's not as watertight. That's why it's called a semi-dry suit. To a lot of people, a latex gasket is just fine. It feels comfortable. And then to many others, it might be really uncomfortable to have a latex gasket around your neck all day, or in some cases, it could even cause allergic reactions. So an alternative to latex is always a great thing to have. And don't get me wrong, there are alternatives by brands to latex that will be very dry. I'm not saying that latex is the only way to get a fully dry dry suit. There are other options, but usually when we're discussing dry versus semi-dry, if they say semi-dry, that usually means that if you get dunked, if you go upside down, if you're swimming for a little while, probably a dribble of water will get in through that gasket versus whatever material is used to be an absolutely dry dry suit so why is there an option it comes down to preference and it comes down to what you're going to be doing if you know you're going to be tossed around or you're going to be doing things where you will be taking a swim or there is the possibility of taking a swim or you're going to go in a place that has rough water usually a full dry suit is the way to go now on the other hand if you just want to extend your paddling season but you're usually going in small lakes or in really calm waters or you never really go out whenever conditions are rough then you might be just fine with a semi dry suit if you do take a swim if you fall in the water you'll get a little bit of water in suit but it won't be something that will be dangerous I'll give you a quick example. When my wife and I started paddling into either the cold months or the months where the water was still cold in the spring, we both went for full dry suits. She couldn't take the neck gasket. It used to bug her all the time. So we ended up changing her dry suit and then she moved on to a semi dry suit because we also realized that she was never really paddling whenever an occasion would warrant for full dry suits. She doesn't enjoy paddling in rough water. She doesn't enjoy paddling in rough conditions. She doesn't enjoy paddling in very, very cold conditions. So it makes her happy to be more comfortable in a semi dry suit, which is perfect for the paddling conditions that she usually likes. And when I go out, I know I'm gonna be dumped around a bunch or if we're surfing, I know there's a very good chance I'll be upside down or I'll get pulled out of my kayak or if we're going to practice things or we're doing rescues, that latex gasket for me helps keep everything out. The last thing I'll share is also keep in mind that even if you think that you will always be in calm conditions, also think about where you are going to be paddling because if you are in a place that is known for conditions developing or you might have to land or launch into surf or do take that into consideration when you pick one versus the other because let's say you live near the long island sound versus if you're on the pacific coast of the united states conditions there can be dramatically different so even if you go out in calm conditions there versus here you are dealing with something very different so that should also go into account if you're picking one or the other so if you have anything to add or any stories you'd like to share or if you want to tell us of why you chose one versus the other, please do comment below. Or if there's any other further questions, please comment as well. I hope that was helpful. Subscribe if you'd like. I'm always trying to put these videos down. As always, Luke Romer, Kai Gipster. Thank you for watching. See you next time.